You are welcome to my channel. Today I'll be addressing cervical cancer staging. Correct staging will take into account the full history, thorough physical examination, the diagnostic procedures and the outcomes, and then before the treatment, the staging will guide. The best of such is from FIGO. That is Federation Internationally the Gynecology Obstetric Coup. I apologize to my French listeners, I'm not a good French speaking person. But in English, it is International Federation of Gynecology and Obstetrics. So I'll be going through the staging published by FIGO. FIGO Stage 1. It is all about the fact that the tumor is limited to the surface. No perfect organ or organs is involved yet, and no distant metastasis. Stage 1a means that the tumor is less than 3 millimeters up to less than 5 millimeters in depth. 1a1 means it is less than 3 millimeters in depth, while 1a2 means it is 3 millimeters in depth or greater, but less than 5 millimeters. Stage 1b means it is greater than or equal to 5 millimeters in depth and less than 2 centimeters or greater than 4 centimeters in width. 1b1 means the tumor is either 5 millimeters or greater in depth and less than 2 centimeters in width. 1b2 means that the tumor is either 2 centimeters or greater in depth and less than 4 centimeters in width. 1b3 means it is either greater than or equal to 4 centimeters in width. Stage 2 of FIGO is all about the fact that the tumor is now beyond the surface, but it is still limited to the pelvis. It has reached the vagina and parametria area. 2A. The tumor is from service to the upper two thirds of the vagina. 2A1 is from service to upper vagina but less than 4 cm in width. 2A2, it is 4 cm or greater in width. 2B means the tumor has now reached the parametria area. The parametria area will involve the uterine artery, the operant ligament, and the fibro tissue that separates the supravaginal portion of the cervix from the bladder with lateral extensions between the broad ligaments. The tree of FIGO is all about the fact that though there is no distance metastasis yet, the tumor has now moved from the cervix to affect the vagina, already involving parametria area, the pelvic wall is involved, the kidney and regional lymph nodes. 3A means low one third of vagina has been involved, but no pelvic wall involvement yet. 3B means pelvic wall and kidney are now involved. 3C1 means regional lymph nodes are now involved. Why 3C2 means it has gone beyond that to paraaortic lymph nodes. Stage 4 of FIGO means that the tumor has gone beyond the pelvic wall. It has gone beyond the kidney. It's now affecting the bladder and rectum with or without distant metastasis. 4A means it's affecting the bladder or the rectum, but it has not gone beyond that. 4B means there is distant metastasis already. Now prognosis. Prognosis will depend on the following. The stage of the cancer 
whether it is squamous cell or adenocarcinoma. The treatment already given, the onset of the treatment, because if the treatment starts early, the prognosis might be good, depending on the stage anyway. The remission reached or not, or there is recurrency, all will dictate prognosis. Whether there is comorbidity or morbidities, or whether the affected woman is immunocompetent or immunocompromised. All these will affect the prognosis, but the greatest of all these will be the stage of the cancer. Now, survivor is inversely proportional to the stage of the cancer, meaning survivor will decrease as the stage increases. So, stage 4B, which is the highest, will have just few months to live. Survivor of five year post diagnosis will vary if it is stage 4A they will have a 16% chance of having five years after diagnosis. Stage three will have 30%, stage two, 50 or 60%, while stage one will be the best to have five years survival at the rate of 80 to 85%. Some literature will actually put it at 90%. In conclusion, staging is pretty necessary for appropriate treatment. It will also help to determine the prognosis and it affords the woman to plan for her life, her finances, her pregnancies, whether to keep it or not, and the mode of delivery, of course. For example, cesarean session, if it is invasive, or allowed to have vaginal delivery if it is non invasive, and of course, plan for family, or even to plan for palliative if it is stage 4B with distant metastasis. With that, I've come to the end of this presentation. Remember to share this, remember to subscribe to my channel and check all other presentations already published on cervical cancer, such as the signs and symptoms, the risk factors, the PAP testing, PAP testing, human papilloma testing and pregnancy, the diagnosis, how to make proper diagnosis of cervical cancer, now the cervical cancer staging. Thanks, I appreciate, and also remember to subscribe. I appreciate that.